I'm Kendra Falk Edwards, and I'm the Chief Growth Officer for Cardon and Associates. And I'm excited today to have Pamela Dunlap with us um, for the, our Cardon Resource Hub. And today we're going to talk a little bit about one of the main questions and things I hear a lot. I'm at the age now that a lot of my friends find themselves with either their parents or a caregiver finding themselves having to find a short-term rehab stay after surgery or after hospitalization, and they have to make quick decisions. And they're thinking, where do I go? How do I go about finding the best place that's fit for where I am? So I'm excited to have Pamela here today to kind of talk about, she's an um, elder care and wellness specialist and very informed and has been doing this a long time. So I'd love to hear your ideas and your tips, Pamela, for people that find themselves in that situation. Thank you, Kendra, for having me. As an elder care consultant, helping seniors rehab to wellness is definitely my passion. If you or your loved one has an orthopedic procedure or an acute medical setback, you may need an inpatient rehab stay prior to going home when discharged from a hospital. Most often, this is covered at 100% by your Medicare insurance. Ideally, you will receive therapy until you're back to functioning at your baseline. However, your length of stay is often driven by the type of Medicare coverage that you have. Some seniors choose to change their Medicare replacement plan to a traditional, back to traditional Medicare coverage to receive fuller coverage of inpatient rehab and in-home and outpatient therapy. Contact Medicare for more information and to learn how a hospitalization and need for inpatient rehab may be a qualifying event for coverage change. Now, how do I choose a rehab unit that is right for me? If you know in advance that you're gonna need inpatient rehab, post a medical or an orthopedic procedure, you can visit a couple of places on your own to find the right one for you. If you are in a hospital and your need is unexpected, you may request that a friend or a family member visit a couple of places on your behalf. This is often when my services are engaged to help families and seniors transition from hospital to rehab to home and community support services for optimal independent functioning. What do you look for when you're visiting a rehab center? I would suggest meeting the team. The ideal scenario would be being introduced to the rehab director. The rehab director oversees the therapists and sets the expectations for outcomes for the rehab department. Ideally, you could meet a member of the rehab nursing team. The nursing team collaborates with the patient and the therapists to address your clinical needs while you're there for rehab. And ideally, you would be able to meet and be introduced to the administrator of the healthcare center. The administrator provides the leadership to assure all disciplines are collaborating to achieve your rehabilitation goals. When you visit, observe the therapy gym. Note how the therapists use the equipment and the space to create the optimal therapeutic experience for the patients. Ask to see a rehab room. Most rehab centers have private rehab suites. Questions you may want to ask when visiting. Do they have a physical therapist, occupational therapist, and speech therapist available to work with patients during their rehab stay? Noting that many successful rehab teams utilize physical therapy assistants, known as PTAs, and occupational therapy assistants, known as CODAs, who collaborate care with the physical and occupational and speech therapists. Question, do they schedule an IDT or interdisciplinary team meeting or care plan meeting with patients within the first few days upon admission? This is needed to assure that there's a collaboration of all the disciplines with the patient to make sure the mutual goals are being set for graduation. Question, do they 
perform home evaluations near graduation time. This is important to maximize their expertise as they observe the patient in their home environment and aid with recommendations for next steps post-graduation. Question, does the rehab center use agency staffing for nursing or are they employees of the company? Nursing staff with longevity within the company is ideal and a great sign of high quality care. Question, do they provide six days a week therapy? The level of therapy and nursing care is essential to your short but very vital rehab stay to wellness. Physical plant, old or new, gourmet food, fancy decor are not the focus when choosing the right rehab. You and your chosen support system are the essential partners in the success of your rehab outcomes. Your success will be measured by your investment to yourself. Check out the Cardon Resource Hub video on how to maximize your rehab stay for more information. If you have any questions regarding these tips or others, please contact me, Pamela Dunlap, at Sage Insight Consulting. Thank you. Thank you, Pamela. I think one of the things I would add to that list, it was so comprehensive. I think also one of the other questions I would ask, how often is your medical provider, nurse practitioner rounding or visiting the community? I think that's just important, for, especially for our short-term rehab with the goal of getting home and how often are they there to see them. That's a great addition. Absolutely. Knowing they're available for those medical questions during your stay, because your stay is going to be short and you want to know the frequency of the visits of the nurse practitioner and or physician. You're right. So thank you. I appreciate that and look forward to the next time. Thank you.